Paymetrics XI Intercept for SAP Solution can be used to capture sensitive card details and tokenize them before they're exposed within the SAP application. Let's begin by creating a sales order and we will enter a sold to party, a PO number, a material, and a quantity. Once you're ready to capture the card details, whether you do that in the overview fields here, or you navigate to the header payment card screen, the process is invoked by clicking on the pull down button on the card number field. In a standard SAP system, this would display any card stored on the payer partner's customer master record. We've enhanced this system though so that a browser session is opened and that browser then points to the merchant's XI Intercept solution account within the Paymetric cloud environment. The default browser is always used, in this case it's Internet Explorer, and you can see once XI Intercept is opened, we're able to capture the card type, the number, the expiration date, the CVV or security value, and cardholder name. I'll go ahead and enter a test Visa card number with an incorrect last digit. We'll put an expiration date in the future, a security code, and then a cardholder name. The XI Intercept solution will perform a validation to ensure that the card number entered matches the format of the card type entered. So in the case of a Visa, it must start with a 4, it must be 16 digits long, and it must pass a LUN check. So this last digit should be a 1 instead of a 0. When I try to submit that, the XI Intercept solution will indicate that the card number does not match the proper pattern for that card type. In this case, I'm not going to proceed. I'm going to cancel and go correct that. So that was all done at the browser level. There was no communication back to Paymetric at this point. Once it does pass those validation routines and I submit, the browser tab, or in this case the entire window, will close. That information has now been submitted out to the merchant's XI Intercept account at Paymetric. The raw card has been extracted and tokenized, so the value is encrypted and a token was assigned to it. And then in order to retrieve that information, I need to click on the pull down button on the SAP credit card number field one last time. And you'll notice the token is retrieved back into SAP rather than a raw card. All the other fields have been populated with the information I entered within XI Intercept. And in order to have SAP validate this information, I'll hit enter on the keyboard. And you'll notice a warning message indicating that this card is not yet stored on the customer's master record. And should I wish to do so, I would need to go into the customer master change mode and enter this card information. And in fact, I would do it with the same XI Intercept for SAP pop-up browser session as I used here. Anywhere in SAP that there is a credit card number field and you want to enter information in there, any field will invoke that pop-up browser session and allow me to capture the details externally in a browser session in XI Intercept for SAP rather than directly in the SAP GUI. I'll hit, hit enter on the keyboard one last time and the information has been validated and reformatted according to the format SAP uses, specifically the expiration date. 
Now that the card details have been captured, I can back out and hit save to process an authorization. SAP will submit the token to Paymetric. Paymetric in turn will take that token and de detokenize it so that the uh, raw card information can be submitted to the processor. All of that detokenization happens outside of the merchant's environment within the Paymetric cloud environment. We'll take a quick look at the response and we'll see that the authorization has been processed in this case successfully. It's been approved. I can double click on that line to see the approval code that came from the processor, Paymetrics transaction ID that can be used to find the details of this transaction in Paymetrics online reporting portal, and then any other details regarding the type of response received that have been passed back from the processor. So as we've seen, we can use the XI Intercept for SAP pop-up browser solution to capture and tokenize cards before the raw card has been exposed to the SAP system rather than entering those card details directly into the SAP application.